You haven't given up hope then that you can turn it around? No, we haven't. Uh, I mean, what's the point of giving up? I mean, I've got, I've got money to spend on players and I'm finding it difficult to bring players in because there's nobody or no top draw players available. Um, you know, so there's no point in me selling Emerson and getting more money because uh, I'm, I'm struggling to spend the money that I've got anyway. Um, but what we do need, I mean, we need footballers at this football club who are happy that, uh, because we know that if they're happy in themselves, then they're going to play better football. Um, you know, and as far as uh, the other stuff with Ravenelli, Juninho, and Beck and that, you know, the, the lads have absolutely no problem. One, you know, they're 100% behind the club. Obviously, a few uh, wins uh, would make them a lot happier. But in saying that, they'd make me British players happier, and they'd make me a lot happier. Is it important too that you do take a stand about the Emerson situation? Yes, it is. I, I mean, you know, you can't foresee everything. But uh, like we said, I mean, Emerson was happy enough to sign a four-year contract with us, and the same as any pl player um, nowadays with freedom of contract. Now, they should honour that contract if they're with the club, uh, and that's how I see it. Um, okay, you have problems, but you should get on with your job, and you try and resolve the problems the best you can. Then, if it goes on for too long and these problems can't be sorted out, then I think as a club and as a player, you have got to look at situations if they can't be resolved. Um, but I don't think Emerson's had good advice from uh, people who are connected with him. Um, they've advised him badly. Uh, but, you know, um, players are the same as any walk of life. They're human beings and they handle problems uh, in different ways. Uh, and Emerson's handling this problem the way he feels um, is right. Uh, and we'll try and help him as much as we can. It's clear that you'll try and help him. Do you feel he's let you down a little bit? Of course, he's let us down. Uh, like we're just saying, you know, he's he uh, hasn't turned up for uh, training. He didn't play in the Leicester game. Um, he'll not play in the Leeds game. Uh, so obviously, he's letting himself down, and he's letting the club down as far as being a professional is concerned. Because uh, no matter what problems you've got, you should get on with the game, um, and and then your problems go outside of it. But, uh, once you've earned your wages, and you, you know you, you've played the football, and you've entertained the fans.